Hello everyone, my name is Hazard I'm from the Insane Game, this is Gran Turismo 6 episode 14 and uh, if you are coming over from the Paul Fairbridge YouTube channel uh, he talked to me earlier and was like, I'm giving you a shout out so hopefully he will have actually given me that shout out that he uh, promised me if you don't know who Paul Fairbridge is annotation on screen if I'm not lazy and if it isn't, look in the description but I've known Paul for a long time. But that's not one of the only reasons why I, uh, why he's given me a shout out. I mean, I made his, um, I made his channel trailer two, and I made his new intro, and technically that means I made his new logo as well. Uh, I also have to say a massive thank you to um, Nathan Young. Uh, I believe that was their name. Uh, I, you sent me a image two weeks ago and I finally received it in my YouTube messages because I don't check the uh, that's the new inbox and I don't check it very often because there's no real there isn't really a need for it but yeah thanks for that image I, I'm gonna be honest uh, at the moment my uh, my logo and my my intro and everything is fine but so I probably won't use it, but I could use it in the future, so don't be disheartened um, if, if I don't use it soon. I, and I, I love the graphical work. In fact, in case I never do use it, which I, I hope to in the future at some point, here it is on screen, just so you guys can see it. Look, look at this amazing work. I have no idea uh, what program he used to make it, but it's better than what I could do, probably, in that program. Uh, what we're we going to uh, what we got to do in this? Well, we've got to do the GT Compact uh, Championship. That's what we're doing right now. So it's free races. Just cut that corner a little bit. Cheat. And um, ooh. Then we've got to do the the National Air License. And then finally, I can play online in this game. Of course, got to choose this blue Renault Clio. Uh, first car I bought, I believe. Or first car given to me. Jesus, it's been ages since this series first started. I honestly have no idea. Of course, if any of you have come over from the uh, Paul Fairbridge channel, um, if you like me, of course, uh, hit that like button and uh, hit subscribe. And uh, if you don't, uh, leave a comment below so I know how to improve. There is uh, other people on this channel occasionally, in fact there may be some collaboration with Paul himself, but uh, I usually work with someone called uh, someone called Beefy. Um, I know their real name, they just don't want, really want it on their, on this channel, so we go by a code name. Um, but yeah, I work with them, they, they're currently doing the Orion Dino Horde uh, let's play and also there are in a few episodes of GT Online uh, Speaking of that GT Online thing it tells you a couple of hints and tri uh, Tips and tricks I'm talking way too fast to do <laughs> Than I normally do uh, What have I got coming out recently? Uh, just so you guys know kind of a schedule um, Well uh, tomorrow will be a series me and Beefy do. Uh, there's another series that uh, we do. It's called Two Player, and it, it's not what it sounds like. It's, we don't play a two player game. This is game frozen. No, it has not. My console is still working. The joy of the PlayStation 3. Anyway, two player is uh, where one of us has played the game before, and the other one has not. So. Beefy's talked about wanting to play Red Dead Redemption, so I've got some footage of it, and he's never played it before or seen any footage, so he's gonna probably take the piss out of it, because that's kind of what we do. One of us explains the game, if one takes the absolute piss out of it. Uh, what's after that? We've got Dead Island Epidemic, hopefully, if the servers are actually working unlike yesterday when I tried to do a recording and I remember this course, this is from the uh, Nissan GT Academy 
2012, I think. This is one of the courses that you had to drive. After that is uh, GTA Online episode 15, another episode of F1 2012. I don't know why anyone would be searching for that game, but it was fun to mess around on Monaco for a bit. Uh, then, of course, the new games with Gold Game will be Battle Block Theatre. Uh, second episode of Dead Island Epidemic, again, if the servers are working. And then a special video I've made with Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2011. Which is a, a, an old game, but it's not. It's quite. It's kind of a rare game here in the UK because because we don't really hunt animals. To be honest, we don't hunt deer or anything, and it, you know it requires like this huge access route, like this gun control. So it's not very pop, and somehow I just managed to drift this thing. It's a front wheel drive car, you can't really drift them. But yeah, Cabela's is kind of a rare-ish game. They keep releasing them, I only have one. Don't know why I'd have any of the others. Well, so yes, you can, in the description, in the description, no, in the comments you can uh, give us hints and tips on what games to play. Uh, Probably one of the GTA Online episodes will be a collaboration with Paul. So that'll be fun. Uh, should say I did a little bit of Dark Souls. If you're a fan of that series. Fortunately, I did not rage because I only did two episodes. Uh, that's, in my games with Gold series, I only do one or two episodes per game. Tell you what, I didn't really particularly like Gotham City imposters. Why am I talking about this? This is a PS3 game. Um, speaking of PS3s, um, it's a. I know there's different models, obviously. Uh, I have PS3 Slim, 160 gig, nowhere near. That is full, but uh, our six form has a 320 gig one, and that has a blue light on the front of it. For the uh, the eject button, but my slim does not have that. Bear in mind, my slim's about three years old now. Jesus, only ever owned three games on it as well. That's a stick driving. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a difference. I don't know. I'm not really a PS3 kind of guy. Well, yeah, I'm not really a PS3 guy. Which is weird, considering my PS2. Um, my PS2 is currently going to America, it's on a flight. In fact, it should have landed by the time you guys see this video. Yeah, th this game is... My PS3 is just reading discs horribly. Like, honestly, this is super slow and I've installed it and everything so yeah, if you guys want to play it against me you can I'm probably not going to be very good <laughs> let's do this I hope we can do it guys hope we can win, win this in our Renault I really don't know anything else to talk about here um, yeah, give me some suggestions of games you could uh, I can play. For you guys. And hopefully... You know, hopefully you'll like this... My channel. Our channel, should I say. Hopefully you'll like this, uh, the content. And hopefully you'll subscribe. And if you don't, just give us hints and tips on how to improve. Because... You know, every little helps to quote a famous UK supermarket chain. Uh, just randomly thought of them. Um, they recently introduced scamming shop into their stores, which is useful. You um, 
carry a little scanner around, scan the barcodes, then at the end you just pay. It's all in bags ready. It's very, very useful. I'll tell you what I have been playing recently at college, uh, at 6 I say. I've been playing Grand Transport 5 Prologue, and that's a fun game. It's worse than this, but it's still fun. Uh, apart from the hmm, problem that obviously because it's in a 6 form and there's a bunch of people trying to play at the same time, or I say trying to play, it's just a, one of those plays for a little bit and then you got, uh, we let you go to the or whatever and then other people are playing. Um, then you have the problem of, yeah well the only way to continue in that game is for to buy all the cars so you can do the events, like in this game, you know, like you don't need to buy all the cars but you can you know, you need certain cars for certain races and stuff. Well, unfortunately, some people think that it's like Falls or all other games where you have pretty much every car unlocked from the start from multiplayer. No. Uh, your problem is, of course, so you're, you're getting a bunch of cars. I mean, granted, we were only doing C class races and we had like a Alfa Romeo a Suzuki Cappuccino and a that was probably sponsored by Starbucks to be honest and uh, <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? It was some Daihatsu, uh, Daihatsu Cuban. We had that and then uh, it's like oh well we need these for the next race. Nope. Sold and bought a Subaru Impreza. I didn't sell. Someone sold and bought a Subaru Impreza and Lancer which can only be used in class B and A races and guess what we're stuck and they're like don't sell them we need them for multiplayer but yeah that, that's fun two cars you can choose in multiplayer or the rest you can choose you know you, you want to play with the supercars you need to do the rest of the game first but uh, my rant is over but yeah um I'm gonna buy a few cars actually. I wonder if this game is gonna unlock stuff for me. Ooh, did I win? Yes, I came first in championship, obviously. Thanks. I needed that money. If you don't know, um, help, uh, bleh. this is useful because if you just come from Paul's channel, um, it, it's useful so you can know the information about this channel. Uh, Beefy is mainly going to be PC. Oh, look, I've unlocked uh, Acura NSX91. Uh, Beefy is mainly a PC gamer. I'm mainly console. Let's choose this in red because red is my second favorite color after blue. Uh, no, I don't want to use this kind of. Yes, yeah, so Beefy's PC gamer. I'm console mainly. I'll do the National ARS in the next episode. But I'm going to buy a car. Let's look at some cars. Bugatti! No, not going to get one. BMW. That's like the car that they used at the 2012 Olympics. Anyway. Look at that horrible squished up logo. That's awful. Opel and Vauxhall. You know there's really a difference between them, look. See? Look at that car. See, Opel Speedster. Let's look at this. Right. Okay, the Opel Speedster. And <laughs> this is hopefully judging by the fact that this car will be in the game. Uh, but yeah, the VX220. It's the exact same car. Um, you know, you have to get it in British Racing Green. It's a nice nippy little motor, that suppose. I'm going to get the turbo, actually. Oh, you can't get it in British Racing Green. Oh, well, I'll get it in Le Mans Green. That's second best. Oh. 
I have a feeling that will be useful in the next race, considering it gave me an, an NSX. No, I don't want to use because I'm going to get an Opal Speedster as well. <laughs> See, Corsa, mmm. The Astra Super Touring Car. The Calibra Super Touring. I've never seen Calibra on the street before. Ooh, a Vectra. Oh, God, the bane of my existence. God, it's it looks so ugly. Why does it exist? Who at Vauxhall thought, well, who at GM thought this was a good idea? Look. Oh, it even says Opal's main, uh, main model. Car information. Let me know. The Opal Vector was sold as the Vauxhall Vector in the UK. The Opal Vector received a full... Okay, whatever. I understand. Does it give me separate information about the VX? It's 220. Oh yeah, there you go. I want Opel or Vauxhall to make a another one, another sports car. That'd be nice. <laughs> Le Mans Grun. Yeah, I'm gonna get it in Le Mans Grun. Yes. Pretty sure. Will I unlock the Le Mans Grun paint job? Yes, I did. I probably probably mispronounced that. For, sorry for you Germans that are viewing, or oh, two of you, because that's what it says in my thing. You know what I'm going to buy. Why, where's Ford? Where is Ford? What the hell is it, Dawn? Well, as soon as I save up, I'm getting that thing. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Anyway, I'll, pr I'll probably buy that at some point. Hey, is this Suzuki Cappuccino in this game? It better be. Just some troll people. Hang on. Okay. No, the cappuccino is not in this game. Sad face. Has anyone ever used the word sad face in general conversation? I just did. Oh, the lightning! Oh, the Mustang! I already own a Mustang now, I don't need one. That's why I need to sit. I'm gonna buy one of these, to be honest. Buy 40k first, though. In a. in blue. I have an uncle that has one. <laughs> Stupid, because it's a bit tall. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a small car for him, but it's okay. It's man. Um, yes, I have the Capri blue paint color. Okay, nice. Alright, let's. Oh, you know, I actually want to own one of these in real life. Alright, well, I've already bought one. Apparently. In this game, I want to own a Model S. That's an awesome show on YouTube, by the way. Uh, right. I was going to ask, looking for that Ford Focus. First, would you buy a Ford Focus RS uh, RC car, or would you buy a Subaru? So I'm reckoning that you probably buy a Subaru, to be honest. That's what I'd do. See? They're much cheaper. Bearing my there from all one. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy that Ford then. I like the look of it. Bye bye money. Also I like BP Ultimate. It makes cars go faster. So they claim. There we go. So now if I ever need to uh, do a off-road race, that is perfect for me. Also, I love the fact that that thing has a license, but it's not street legal, guys. I don't think. They just put that on there for sure. 
Anyway, I've been Hassan from the Instant Gamers. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this.